I thought you would do another update on uh, what's going on with Petra Jewelry's new shop, but I did think it might be useful to start with a little introduction to how it all began. Back in 1979, when my mum came over having studied her jewellery apprenticeship in Germany, um, she set the business up in that little stable there, which is now Ma Humbugs. And I was a little bit younger than Heidi is now, and uh, I used to sit up on these railings. And then when I was pregnant with Heidi, about six years ago, we moved into a double stable. <laughs> if you haven't been into us, into our shop, really called it a stable. <laughs> it's small and compact. Um, we've managed to fit 46 people in here on a champagne and canapes event. And um, we're really excited about having more space, not just for us, but for you as the customer as well. You're going to have a little bit more privacy when you're looking at um, diamonds. Um, we really appreciate that jewellery is quite an emotional product and sometimes you don't want to have someone standing next to you. So that's what we're going to be able to offer you in the new shop. And um, it's literally a minute walk from here, round on the other side of the site. So I'm going to take you around now. map of Bibles and where are we Heidi? That's where we are now, that's where we, that's where we started and you literally walk round into the other main courtyard to the cottage, that's the community association hall and um, I'll take you round then. <laughs> so as you can see we've got our reserved um, parking spaces for Petra customers because it can get quite crowded at the Bibles Craft Centre. Got beautiful new windows thanks to Brackenwood windows fantastic local company. We're just doing an update video. Oh wow, they filmed. So it's been plastered, it's been painted, we've got the floor gone down now so we're ready to start putting in some furniture. And as you can see it's going to be a really bright, beautiful contemporary space. A lot more space for you guys when we're consulting you and a lot more space for some lovely children as well. I don't know if you remember from the last video, this was all sort of broken floorboards. You had to jump across to here to get to the other side. <laughs> if you saw our last update video, which was roughly a month ago, you might remember this was all open floorboards with a big hole in the ground, which Heidi had to jump over to get to the other side. I was going to introduce you a bit later, but I'm going to do it now. Banjo. If you've, if you've been a customer for more than sort of four or five years, you might remember I used to bring my border collie Bella to work with me. Now unfortunately she passed away a few months ago and um, I'm delighted to introduce Banjo to you. He'll be coming to work and um, that's good news for kids and husbands who maybe aren't quite so interested in looking at, looking at jewellery and um, mums can be left in peace. Um, I've worked out now, no it's not that one, that one. It's really important to us that you feel like you're being welcomed into our home. We're a family business after all. And I think that a lot of jewellers that offer a similar product to us, sort of high-end jewellery, they can feel a little austere and maybe a little bit on the arrogant side. And I don't want our customers to feel uncomfortable. Um, it's an emotive product and we really get that. So this is all part of the experience, being able to offer you a lovely cappuccino or some champagne on ice. And the bit I'm most excited about is upstairs. It's our creative suite and anybody's welcome up there. There's going to be soft furnishings, children can go up and maybe play on an iPad, we'll have a sofa and we can extract you from what maybe feel more like a retail environment and actually get you to sit and be comfortable in a lounge. So this is our, um, our creative suite or our lounge where you'll be able to come and sit comfortably. Um, I'm really struggling on deciding on wall colours. I don't know if you know our Petra Pink and our turquoise colour that we have on our website. I'd love to paint a wall bright pink, but I'm not brave enough. Um, but we're still thinking about that. So next update video, you're going to see all the furniture in here and you really start to get a feel of what it's going to be like. And then come through to our workshop, which is really taking shape. We've got the kitchen in. Um, 
And I've been interviewing some goldsmiths and I'm really, really excited. We've got some really high calibre people who love our vision, they love the idea that we're offering um, on-site express cleaning and um, polishing service and a repair service, that we're going to be teaching customers how to make things. Um, so that's all going well. I think we should have a goldsmith in the next few weeks. Um, and yeah, and then through to our office, which doesn't look too exciting just yet. I think with the next update video, you're going to be blown away. Um, kind of trying to work out where people are going to sit, where we're going to put a wardrobe, where we're going to put our brainstorming wall, but um, that, that's going to happen soon. I'm recruiting a goldsmith. I'm also trying to find a fabulous retail advisor. So if you know anyone who can um, fit in nicely with our team, I'm definitely recruiting based on personality, not necessarily experience. It's really important that they get what we're about and can look after our customers with empathy and um, we'll train them. Um, so if you know anyone, please get them to send me an email, uh, mitch at petrojewelry.com. And um, thank you for that. Look forward to giving you another update maybe in a month's time. Take care. Bye.